Hello, good morning and welcome. It's uh, 7.51 and uh, we start with the Australian dollar, US dollar. Yeah, we had a bit of uh, good news out for the Australian dollar last night and really it hasn't much budged. <clears throat> I thought we might just see a little bit of a, um, a retracement on this, maybe back up to the uh, mid Bollinger Band because uh, really this this pair hasn't really fallen a lot in the last two months. That, that's about 300 pips and that's two months trading. Uh, so, we, you know, it's not a lot of pips, uh, it's fallen. And uh, we are just outside this uh, triangle on the RSI, uh, but we're still above the 30.9. So it is like a bit of sideways motion at the moment. We'll see how that goes on for tomorrow. And uh, we've had uh, the French election results. Uh, when the markets opened, they gapped higher. Uh, it's now come back down to fill the gap. <clears throat> There's um, a French bank holiday today. So uh, we're not expecting much more out of that. Um, but, uh, you know, the, the gains it made, it didn't hold. Um, it's looking uh, overbought. Uh, we're we're to the top side on the RSI, we're above uh, the 69.1 um, but, but I'm expecting this to come back down again um, I, you know, I've got quite a lot of money on this so it does hurt me when it goes against me <laughs> uh, the euro dollar the same, uh, the same thing basically and uh, again on the euro uh, New Zealand dollar uh, we've got the same thing uh, that's actually fallen a, a bit further than the rest. Uh, and I'm quite pleased because I've got more money on that one. GB Howard. Uh, yep, yeah, well, actually, that's improved a little bit in the last 10 minutes. It's actually um, made a little bit of a gain in the last few minutes. So, hey ho to that. Um, we've, um, we're still above the 69.1 on the RSI. Uh, it's pointing upwards. As long as we remain above the 69.1, that should continue in the upwards motion. <clears throat> Our CHF, uh, same story. Um, little bit of a gain uh, last night in the out. Again, I was expecting a little bit of a bounce. Uh, I, I came out of my out trades for two reasons. I was um, really over trading on my euro uh, positions and I was a bit uncertain about which way the out was going so I came out the out trades which were in profit and uh, I'm now actually looking to re-enter S&P 500 that has actually come down a little bit today uh, we're still below the 69.1 on the daily chart and we're slightly below it on the weekly the monthly we're actually above, so uh, I'd like to see I'd like to see this come down, and that will confirm for me <clears throat> a downward trend. And now we'll move on. The Oud Cat. Actually, this has moved down quite nicely. It's it's not really done much today. Um, it's below the fifty on the RSI. You know, I kind of, kind of hope this is going to um, going to continue this downward trend. Um, it looks like it might well. So we've got uh, a little bit of strength in the oil prices, which will, will give us strength to the Canadian dollar. So uh, that that'll help. Uh, USD JPY. Um, this uh, we, we've seen a red candle this morning so th that's good news i think this is basically topping out about here uh we've got uh, this is quite stiff resistance it's a turning point at 114485 uh again this is support here and i believe this is another turning point at uh, 112 so um you know uh, i know it's quite a lot of movement but um you know that's about as close as I can get it on this. I, you know, I just think that it's going to go down, but uh, I don't really have any evidence to support it. The commitment of traders are heavy, heavy, slightly heavier 
short on the um, sorry on the pair but they're long of the Japanese yen slightly more and uh, the same with the euro the commitment of traders are heavier short on the euro so um, I think it's at an extreme at the moment uh, now we come on to the silver a uh, little bit of um, uh, weakness in the dollar so you've got a little bit of a bounce back on silver it's coming up to this support here I did expect this a little bit uh, but I, I am so pleased with the way this trade's gone uh, I, and I think it's going to continue down uh, USD Mexican peso uh, took a little bit of batter in the last couple of days I've got a slight green candle on this uh, I, I really think this is going places I'm going to move my uh, trend line over. There you go. That's cheating, but you know. <laughs> hey ho. <laughs> so we're still slightly above the 50 on the RSI. USD, USD CAD. Again, a bit of weakness uh, on the dollar. Um, strength on the CAD because of the oil price. Um, I, I, I can't call it a good entry point because I, I, I wouldn't do that because it's overbought. It's in the overbought section anyway. So, uh, you know, for those with stronger palettes than me, you know, that might be a good entry point. Uh, same with the oil. If you want to go short oil, it's not for me because it's overbought position. But, you know, it's still, it's, it's just slightly above the 30.9 on the RSI and uh, it has had this big move up and down uh, I think it's just about hit uh, this point here where I said you know that I think is about as far as I see it going but um, hey ho yep. indecision there but anyway look thank you very much for watching and uh, thanks for all your subscriptions and your likes uh, I'm really pleased to see the euro losing a bit of strength today long may it continue and um, I hope we get a good trend off the Euro New Zealand dollar and uh, the Euro Japanese yen. Thank you. Cheers now. Bye.